Möglichkeit, zu Stamia Sonne und Basic Kriegeln zu geben, zeigt an die Circle What's happening with people's perceptions regards to extraterrestrials? Well, <laughs> I thought things were getting on a positive side and um, extraterrestrials were coming in a bit closer. You might see some of the recent videos. Um, they're but normally quite high in the sky in the majority of the videos. But some of them are a bit closer. I thought, oh, that's a good thing. Um, good sign. Um, it seems to be <coughs> more of a paradox, actually. But, um, I think it depends on, you know, um, where people are and locations. How many people um, perceive extraterrestrials to be not a threat. And those who seem to to be a threat. Now, first of all, um, on a um, social network website, you know, like the Star Seeds, um, I received a private uh, message, and uh, apparently, it was the private message trying to convince me um, that you have good and bad extraterrestrials. They always bring this up. I don't know why, but they always bring this up. I don't know if you try to convince me or what, but um I could actually see through the the crap. And um and I replied to this person, you know, um I don't know, I don't buy it at all. Um unfortunately I had to um and I just sort of safety block the person. Um now um so you think is uh, I'm just wondering if there's gonna be allows of humanity checks. Or it could be, you know I think it might be because the the allies of humanity seem to be going out on a mission to try and convince people that um, extractors are a threat and uh, humanity can manage without the help <laughs> and all that. Um, and uh, I do apologize that you know, those who kind of agree with their ideology, um, they're actually wrong. Um, um, quite a humanity if they if um uh people start cleaning up their act and all that I'd say fair enough um humanity can manage on its own um but from what I've observed observed um um It's basically a pipe dream, and um, it would be nice, okay. but um, yeah. But um, I just don't like the the whole demonization part of it. That's the part that is a problem. Um, with the um, Ideology and whatever you want to call it. Well, it is ideology, but they are cult. Um, um, out of curiosity, um, there there's an organisation in the UK. I'm not mentioning the name yet. Um, I've decided to. They do like research on uh, extraterrestrials and people who claim they've had contact and things like that. And I just decided to pop on the website to do some personal research. You know, um, sometimes it's you know even to see keep up to date on what's happening and look into it, and then I derive my own personal conclusion and, and whatever. And, um, basically, um, you know what's true and what is 
I already know that and I extract the information. Um, I do that all over the web actually. Um, I look around and snip around and you know, look up and gather information from you know, um, my personal personal human knowledge and then I um, compare it with my experiences and things like that. Um, and then it also helps me understand um, the, uh, what I also look at is the whole um, um, positive and whole negative um, perception of extraterrestrials amongst these research groups. Um, that is one of the main things why I scurry around the web and like a little web rat, you know, nibbling here, nibbling there. Um, you know, like a little rat. <laughs> That's why I say like a little rat that runs around eating all the good stuff and then you know, leaving the, you know, the rotten cheese out of the, uh, the picture. Anyway, what I found was pretty peculiar. Uh, one of the, well, one of the sites. Um, I was looking through, uh, I just went to the website just to look for the information. And uh, there's a whole bunch about, there's a whole, whole thing about copyright and things like that. I'm looking, oh my fuck, seriously. Because I normally like to share and give out, and, you know, but the thing is, uh, it's not new to me. The roads, you know, especially around the topic of education, you know, copyright, you know, science, copyright, no trees, but I, I suppose there's something to trees, supposedly copyright, okay. Um, I thought, let me try and do something, you know, help these people. Um, something constructive. Um, such as making some artwork. Artwork that would help them you know, um, help them see things, um, you know, um, help clarify you know, things. You know, that would spark an idea um, that would help them, you know. But um then I basically you know, contact the person um, and did the website and all that. Um at first they kind of like misunderstood me because the way I write um I feared as like if I was like on cloud nine looking down kind of thing. Um yeah. Um and then when they saw the video about me and you know, how I explain the money disease and the whole delusion of money and the copyright idea and all that. And talk about, about the money disease and all that. And it's how uh, sharing is important and the whole commercial aspect of society is all about competing and things like that. Which I don't like, and that's what's actually killing the planet. Um, so, um, so I thought I'd do an artwork, right? Um, and then it just kind of, I uh, just got like the hint, um, right? And I did a bit of, actually, I did a bit of studying, like, why is this person, um, gone in such a dilemma about copyright? Because I remember way back, I did put around the website, and it wasn't like this. It's like, you know, um, it happens. I've seen it happen as well in many ways, but even um, sometimes uh, with the radio happens. You know, like there, there's this um, human, I wouldn't say human, but Earth. Um, it's better to say like, or well, shouldn't be an Earth, but just a. Um, 
this um, sort of, you know, this corporate earth kind of issue that affects human nature. Now, I wouldn't say directly that it's human nature, but it's artificial human And it affects every single group, every single organization. Um, um, it's when something happens and there's a dispute, and this dispute just snowballs. Um, and I thought, you know, I'll have a, I'll, you know, the English be quite green by the way. So, I did searching, I sort of, you know, I went to thousands of websites, hundreds of thousands, well, quite a lot of websites about this. And, um, did a few videos, and from the bottom. And, um, the chapter left, uh, organization was a bit dispute with that, because apparently this organization went on TV. Now I remember the episode on TV and because you know, I went out um, to a social gathering in town and people, um, you know, because I'm a little spaced out and everything, and um, I said to check or something, they, they kind of like told me about the thing. I hardly ever watch TV. Um, my cat does. <laughs> they probably keep the cat. Um, but, um, what actually, so I actually went online to watch the episode because I missed it because I don't know. I don't really watch TV. And I think that's when I found a friend on Facebook as well. Because uh, she was in the, um, in the, that's how I got interested in her. Um, because she sounded very genuine. Um, with, with my experiences and they're very, very similar. Um, so, yeah, so I actually, um, I think it was for after this um, TV episode, things went all pear shaped. And um, the chap left. So I decided to do some research on the chap. The lady looked fine, but the chap was fine. Well, the chap was the problem. Now, I also, also looked up the lady's um, information and all that, what she shared. There's always book two sides of the story. But apparently, this, 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 this one side is really lopsided and the other. Um, and um, what I found was. Okay, uh, sort of like a mind freeze. Oh, I hate that. Um, yeah, I've got like a mind freeze. I've forgotten what I was going to say. Anyway, um, yeah, I was talking about the dispute. Yeah, I won't really focus on the lady much because I still got in, um, but it was the chat. Um, and knowing me, I've had most of my um, encounters with males and men have always turned out. Not, uh, it's not all of them, but most of them. That's why I'm kind of I'm recluse, especially towards men. Um, you see, that was wet as well. Um, So, what actually I, I decided to, you know, study the chat. On his blog out there, and when going through the blog, it was like, oh my fuck. Um, it's like heavy laden in anti extraterrestrial rubbish. Absolutely leaning beyond schizophrenia. 
Um, okay, yeah, I thought David Icke was, um, you know, with this whole um, anti extractor reptilian, really reptilian crap. Um, this is like um, over 9,000 to David Icke. And um, what I saw was, um, you know, because you know, David Icke and the um, people who kind of follow David Icke and all that, they always, um, you know, go and say, oh, this person is a reptilian, and that one got by the sort of pixelization in the videos or the um, writing on the pupils and things like that. But then they're always going to think about reptiles, right? Um, now, is my cat a reptile? <laughs> and that's something he's um, reptilian people can think about. Um, it's like, oh, you know, your kitty cat's a reptile. Um, now, this person is kind of really bonkers. It's not just it's not the eyes of the thing. Because he looks at people because of the shape of the, the head, the ears, and things like that. Even anyone that looks sort of like um, elf like or spots or whatever, they are a reptilian. <laughs> I was like, oh my word, this is bonkers. Um, because it, it, it is. If this goes, if this, um, uh, uh, if this person gets as uh, much follows with David I, um, the thing is, the problem is, it's like a new kind of fascism, and um, I honestly think this person has had Milabs, uh, M I L A B S, military abductions. Um, and they tend, military abductions tend to um, push fear. And, and it's all done so that people can promote um, anti extraterrestrial propaganda. Because they feel that they've experienced um, this, this fear and, and all that. And um, they actually uh, push. Because they, they, they feel that um, they don't realize that they have been, have been manipulated. I myself had um, a Milab. And, um, and the way to kind of control it is, um, like after you've had it, is to just keep away, just keep to yourself. Um, um, Stay at home, be with your animal, your cat, um, and something like that. And, um, and just think um, um, and what you've learned and experienced genuine extraterrestrials, things like that. And then you get to um, get a more a lot of meditation as well. And um, do that. Um, I don't know how many Milabs is undergoing. Um, they seem to target certain people um, and it, 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 it's, it's quite annoying that there's, there's, they've got this technology and this technology could be used to benefit humanity. And, um, If it can be used to benefit, but they just said it. Oh, wow, this video is getting long. Uh, um, yeah, I was just like quite surprised. So, looking into this, it, it is kind of. I feel like backing out. But, um, 
this is like the new project, you remember the last project was I had you go to Anderson Forest and all that. Well this appears to be like a new project for me. Um where I where with the whole uh, it's hard to put words. Um it seems, you know, because it's a complete chaos. Because it, it's mainly this anti extraterrestrial crap. Is it, I've been on this for all the time and it seems to be, everything seems to be following up. And, uh, I'm kind of like outsourcing treats from lies and things like that. Um, apparently, anything that's really saying that it's extraterrestrial. Scary or a threat, and all that. That's when um, there's a lot of rotten cheese. Anyway, I've got three shots and um, I'm done with scurrying. I'm, I'm still working on my artwork. It's almost finished, it's about 80% complete. I'm doing the final details and figures, and then I'll be putting in the Lightning effects and all that. And I'll also be doing some sort of like tones, uh, kind of making it a bit more colourful. You'll notice that when I do the shading, the highlights and the shadows, it tends to grey out. So um, I'd have to do some filters to re enhance the colour again, like, like I had in mind. Anyway, I'm, I'm finishing off. Uh, yeah.